Alrighty, good morning friends. Uh, this is Dennis Miracle and today I'm going to be preparing a purse I am calling the Gems Purse and that's not a man's name, that's G-E-M-S Purse and uh, it's uh, made for the 6x10 hoop and I have already uh, run the first uh, placement stitches for the zipper and the outline of the bag and I'm using metallic silver thread and I have a feeling I'm going to regret this very quickly uh, but anyhow I ran the first step and you can I don't even think you can see unfortunately uh, the zipper area is right here you can barely see it I guess uh, and I'm going to take my zipper, which is a dark gray zipper, and I'm going to line it up, put the um, coil of the zipper between these two lines here on what I call the runway. And uh, then I'm going to tape it down at the top, at the bottom, and a little tiny piece in the center. So I'm going to do that right now. Looks good. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay. And one in the center, just to the edge. Just a little something to hold it. And now I'm going to take it back to the embroidery machine and have this tacked down in step number two. So be right back. Okay, I'm going to, uh, that has been accomplished, the tacking down of the zipper. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn the uh, hoop over. And I'm going to take my first piece of lining face down and there are three lines here I'm going to this bottom the third line the bottom line I'm going to take my piece of lining and place it about a quarter of an inch below that line and tape it down because that line is where the stitching will be so we need to be a little below it to have anything to catch on to so all right and now just simply lift your hoop and let this piece of fabric fall over to the, fr the front the um, lining piece and just take it and fold it over a time or two and just take your tape and tape it down because we won't be needing it for quite a few different quite a few steps so that's that alrighty let's take our next piece of fabric which is this has some beautiful silver uh, metallic in it I don't know if you can see it on camera but uh, it's a Hoffman California print I'm going to take it now that I can now that I can on the front and can see where the stitching is. I'm going to take it actually and place the edge of the fabric against the edge of the zipper. Make sure it's on both sides. Uh, we're going to fit. We want to be uh, sewn on and not because I have certainly placed it wrong before and didn't catch it on one side. So, there's that. I'm going to take this back to the um, embroidery machine and a line of stitches will be run right across here to tack this front piece and the back piece of uh, lining down. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, you can see that this has uh, been sewn down and let me turn it over to make sure the back has been sewn. Yes, you can see right here that it uh, is fine also. So I'm going to now, on the front side, I'm going to take a piece of uh, my batting. And uh, 
I always say for a six by 10 purse, I cut all of my fabric seven by 11, but the truth is I cut this one piece um, six by 11 to go underneath about right here, underneath this uh, line of stitches. So let's, I'm using this odd looking uh, fabric I bought at Joann's Fabric. It's, I don't know what it is. It's uh, about an eighth of an inch thick, so it's nice and cushy and gives some feel to the bag. But anyhow, I'm going to take the, uh, the front piece of fabric and fold it back. And uh, I usually take it to the iron, but I don't know how well this would iron. Um, so I'm just going to leave it be, and I think it's, it's, it's folded nicely. It's playing nice, so I'm going to take this to the embroidery machine, and uh, what will happen next is it will stitch along right underneath the zipper, down both sides, and, down, and across the bottom. And uh, so just hold on, I'll be right back. All right, that didn't take long to get on my nerves because it jammed and it took me about 15 minutes to get the darn thing loose. So I have switched to a silvery thread, which is gonna have to do so the next step, I'm going to put this back in the machine and it will run, uh, it will run a stitch uh, for the applique, a placement stitch for the applique. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to walk away from this for a while with an unexpected matter, so I'm not exactly sure. I had uh, run the stitch that uh, stitched down all four sides here, so that was one thing. And then the next uh, uh, step was to run the placement stitches for the applique, which it ran two lines, and like I say, it's hard to see, but it ran two lines, and uh, now I'm going to take my piece of applique fabric, It's simply a piece of this dark uh, gray fabric and I cut the a piece of 7 by 11 but uh, I could have cut it probably um, three and a half by 11 but just for convenience I, I cut it because I have a template I cut it the same size as everything else but you don't need to do that you can use something much smaller so I'm going to put this over this and this is going to now uh, run the tack down stitches. So let me take care of that and I'll be right back. All right, now you can see on this dark uh, gray, you can see the lines, the tack down lines here. And I'm going to uh, now take this to my kitchen counter and sit and trim this piece up here on top and everything below this line here. So we'll just be left with this one little area here in dark gray. So let me go and do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, you can see that I have now trimmed this little piece that's going to run through here, or that runs through here, and I actually uh, did a good job, I think, at trimming. I got very close, which is very unlike me. Uh, so anyhow, the next step is to do the satin stitches, and I'm going to take this to the machine and do those, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have run the satin stitch, and I actually ran it twice because I like it to be nice and thick. So the next thing is the running of the gems, the little diamondy looking things that are going to go through here. So let me run that, and I'll be right back. All right, you can see that the little diamonds have been run through here. Uh, so the next thing is the, the little, uh, the large diamond that goes about right here in the center. And so uh, anyhow, let me 
uh, run that, it's applique also. So there'll be the placement, the tack down, and the uh, uh, stitching, uh, the satin stitching, and another little round of stitching on the inside uh, to give a little extra uh, prettiness to it. So uh, let me, uh, and I'm just going to use a little piece of probably three inch by three inch uh, piece of this gray fabric here that I have left over. So let me go and start that. I'll be right back. Well, for what it's worth, this is, you can't, I can barely see it, so I'm sure the camera can't see it, but it's right here. And um, so let me then uh, put the piece of fabric over this. Shoot, a two inch square would be more than sufficient. So, uh, or maybe even a one inch, but something small to place over this, so circle or square. And let me do that next and tack that down. I'm actually going to use this piece that I cut from here. This is more than sufficient, so I'm just going to put it right across here. Actually, I'm going to tape it a little bit right here at the very edge. So, anywho, let me run that on the machine and then I'll be trimming it. Okay, now you can actually see it there. So I'm gonna take uh, and go and trim this off, uh, the rest of this off, and then I'll do the satin stitch. I'll just go ahead and do the satin stitch immediately thereafter and show you when that's done. All right, now you can see, well, the same thing. I'm gonna run this over again when I turn off the camera. I didn't just notice this. My machine is not doing a very good job, apparently, or the thread is not good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Uh, run this one more time, the satin stitch, and see it. The first thing it did was actually the step. I thought it was gonna immediately do the satin stitch, but it did this little uh, diamond shape, uh, little accent in the center, and then it ran the satin stitch. But I'm gonna rerun the satin stitch, and. Uh, then the next step after that will be letting the uh, lining fabric fall to the back and taping it down and having it stitched down. But anyhow, let me run the, the uh, satin stitch one more time. Okay, much better. Uh, so the next thing we do is we let this boy in the camera here take this piece of tape off let this fall to the back the lining piece and let's remove these there's two pieces of tape one on both sides let me remove those uh, all right and let's pull this down tautly and I'm going to put tape right here and the same place on the other side and stick it in the machine and now it'll uh, sew this back lining down all right the next things we need to do is take off this piece of tape on the side here where that was holding the zipper down and open the zipper up about Three quarters of the way and take I've made my little pieces here they're uh, this is grow green ribbon I'm using and uh, with a, just a, a ring um, key ring and I take and cut it three inches long and by obviously whatever the length is of the ribbon I don't know probably half inch or five eighths of an inch and then I take and I put the ring, fold this over, put the ring in between, and then I staple it at the top to hold it together. Now I always place it about an inch inside this uh, the side uh, seams here. So I just eyeball it, and I usually use the stitching here uh, along the top. You can barely see it, 
right underneath the the, the exhibit, <laughs> the zipper here. And so I'm just going to line it up there and tape it down and make sure that you tape this piece of metal down because it will get under your presser foot eventually. I, I was lucky for probably 400 bags and then one day I wasn't. Um, so anyhow, I've learned my lesson. Uh, so now we take the back piece and place it over what's already here, making sure that you're at least a quarter of an inch on the other side of the exhibit. Uh, why in the heck am I saying that? The zipper, the zipper. <laughs> and so you can see I'm plenty of, I'm probably half inch over the zipper. And then take your last piece of batting and place that over uh, the uh, back uh, uh, fabric, what will be the back fabric. So let me take this and uh, take it to the embroidery machine and it will just close the bag up. Basically it'll stitch along all four sides just to make sure you have moved your zipper in at this point. So I'll be right back. All right, now the front has been uh, sewn down. So turn it over to the back and use your last piece. You should have one piece of fabric left and that's uh, the other, the second piece of lining. So take and just turn it face uh, down, right side down and cover the, uh, the other piece of lining. And again, make sure you are a quarter inch at least above the zipper area and then tape it on all four corners. And this is going to be our last sewing before we take it out of the hoop. All right, let me take it over to the machine and finish this. All right, uh, the la I ran the last step, which was um, step 15, and the back a piece of lining has been secured, and it left us a nice, generous space to stick our hand in uh, to turn the bag. So uh, take your bag out of the hoop. side alrighty and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start make sure I'm in the camera I'm going to start here on this I cut from this side the uh, lining side I'm gonna cut at an angle right here and then I'm going to turn and start going up the side about a quarter of an inch along the top along this side and then stop when you get down here stop and cut a, 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 a angled line like that there so I'm gonna cut off the camera while I do that that'll take me a minute or so and um, just remember a quarter of an inch or so uh, so your uh, seams are not so bulky with fabric so i'll be right back all right now as you can see i have trimmed it all the way around about a quarter of an inch away from the uh, stitch line so now what we're going to do is take these two pieces of lining and you can see where the stitch line is right here take and Pull these back, get them out of the way because you don't want to cut these off, but everything else here needs to be cut off. So just take your scissors and cut right about an eighth of an inch away from that 
stitch line. And the scissors are not so hot. All right, and throw this away, it's junk. Now, take and turn your bag. This is turning number one. do this at the ironing board and I think I am going to go in there because I do like to have it nice and creased um, so this automatically itself turned itself in from the way it's cut and now take this longer part and use these angled pieces to kind of anchor it inside if you can do that yeah and uh, Take, take it to the iron and press it good, and then I'm going to take it to my little sewing machine right behind or in front of me, actually, and I'm going to sew where this opening shut. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, sewn this shut, and I need to get rid of some of these strings, and there's some more around here I'll do after I go off camera. Okay, the last thing I need to do is I take my little uh, seam ripper and find a place to poke through this, not poke through, but to get this started here, this, uh, the tearing of this paper towel. And usually I can just use, if I had more fingernails, it'd be easier, but I, you can see I don't. But I just take it and push it back like that and then get over the zipper head itself and push a little more and uh, there it is that's taken care of that's gone and I'm gonna let's cut some of these little pieces off I said I'd do that off camera so why I'm doing it now I don't know and uh, all right and I just leave this little bit of paper towel because it's held down by uh, by stitches, but if it bothers you, you could cut it off, or I mean not cut it, but pull it off. But anyhow, it's time to turn it out, and let's do it. Now let me grab this one of these pieces of tape that was holding down that ring. There's the other. Okay. Okay. massage it here to get everything correct. I'm going to go to the iron and press it and I think it's very pretty but let me go and finish it at the iron. I'll be right back. Okay I went and pressed it and uh, I think it's a cute little bag. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more of similar bags with different probably wider uh, areas here and uh, different beautiful uh, motif stitches and I'll probably make this a little bit bigger also I can see a lot of potential in this design I mean I think it looks nice maybe nobody else will but that's the way it goes uh, you do what you think is you know nice and people don't like it they just don't like it 
I try my best. Anyhow, so I just wanted to thank you for being with me this morning. It's, I guess, about 5 in the morning. What is it today? 4.38 in the morning. Uh, and so I uh, will be back, hopefully, in the next day or two with another design. I always have five or six that are uh, in the pipeline. And um, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate all of you supporting me as you've done. Um, it means so much beyond the money. It means so, so much. I mean, at three bucks, I'm not uh, going to be a millionaire in this lifetime. Um, but maybe I could buy a tank of gas uh, each week. Uh, so it, it really, uh, your kindness and your friendship uh, of the people that I chat with on a daily basis has really meant a lot to me. I thank you. And I hope you'll join me again, and I'm hoping you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.